All right. So yesterday we had a couple questions about what uh, what we're looking for, and in particular, what's happening with this swing. So first of all, we've got the swing here. Uh, as soon as you upload the video, it's delivered to the athlete, so they have access. You can download it if you want to download it. And to complete an analysis, you just have to click this button on the top right. Say use for hitting program. And right now, what it's doing is it's it's taking all of our calculated values and submitting them, uh, completing assessments for this player. So each swing, if you look at the if you look at the body, we see these dots, and there's ultimately there's there's a, over 140,000 data points per swing. So like it's like the matrix. It's like taking an MRI of your swing. Every every instant of the swing is a collection of data points. So what we do is we take those data points, we isolate the data that matters, and we build um, custom formulas that will automatically go in, dig through the data, analyze positions, analyze movement, and determine what's going on. So with this swing in particular, if we go, and this is a downloaded version so I can control it better, um, there's just things we're looking for. Again, you see the dots on the body. <clears throat> so we'll just kind of take a look at this. What's going on? So there's the swing. So first thing we're looking at, there's there's different reasons to collect data. So we have <clears throat> there's benchmark data, percentile based data, where you can look at velocities, you can look at rotational accelerations, blah blah blah, that that type of stuff. Uh, then we can look at like swing mechanics data, and and start to look at the positions, look at the movements. And there's different reasons to collect different data. So first, we're looking at like stride width, stride length. <clears throat> these are just things that you can go back on. If you start getting out of whack, if things start changing, these are just numbers that you'll have to reference. Ideally, we want to get when we want we want data when you're hitting well, and we want data when you're not hitting well. So you can compare and figure out what's going on. Uh, we're looking at trunk flexion at setup, gather, and launch. The the transition from flexion at launch to side bend at contact. That's how well they're transitioning that posture. This hitter's pretty upright. Uh, then we're going to get into some various movements. We're looking at vertical movement in the stride. His head's moving down. We do not want to see the head go up. Uh, if you start really low, like uh, Albert Pools, the head will stay mostly flat. But we definitely don't want to see the head going up. Swing directions, looking at um, slope of the shoulders and Essentially, if you get really, really sloped, if you get really like a ton of side bend early, <clears throat> your swing is going to be more oppo. If you stay really, really flat with your shoulders, your swing is going to rotate to the pull side. So that's just looking at, at that. Swing plane, this is more like of a body position. So if you get really, really lean back, your swing is going to go upward. If your head gets really forward, you're going to swing downward. So this is, I like the term explicit loft here, but nobody really uses that. Uh, vertical movement of the hands, we're checking to see what the hands are doing when you're going from that that kind of gather to launch phase of the swing. Uh, the, his hands are staying mostly up. The big kind of red flags here are his hands are really moving forward and the lead arm is moving forward. So what does that look like? We're in kind of this phase of the swing where when his shoulders are going from this mostly flat position into that sloped position, so there's like this down angle his hands have really moved forward quite a bit and the elbow has also moved forward quite a bit here so with, with creating depth with creating plane with with getting the bat on plane early you don't want to see the hands moving forward because if you're carrying things forward the bat's going to get carried forward the arc of the swing is getting carried carried forward uh, we can see the lead arm is moving up a little bit which i don't mind at all um, having that ability is good for pitches up in the zone Shoulder slope at gather is looking again at that shoulder slope. Is it angled down? Is it flat? Is it lean back? Um, generally, hitters don't need to be downward. Some hitters will start flat, but as the swing gets into a launch, you're going to want to have some slope. So this this angle here is not a bad thing. Um, we want the shoulders sloped here before the hands come forward, um, and his hands are kind of moving forward into that. Uh, next, we're looking at rear elbow versus hands, just checking at that launch phase. Um, if the elbow is ahead of the hands, that's a bat drag situation. Head movement into contact, we do not want to see the head move forward into contact. That would be more of like a lunge. Uh, head should stay forward, and most commonly, we're going to see the head actually move back as the hitter approaches contact. Front hip, we also want to see the front hip move back. So if we go, just I, I always put the mouse on this front hip. 
And do you want it, do you want that hip to move back or go forward? If if you kind of hinge, if the swing hinges into the front side, the swing arc is going to be carried forward. Uh, and with good hitters, you don't see that. And then last, rear shoulder through contact, making sure that right shoulder, not right, the rear shoulder doesn't just like completely halt and push backwards. With a lot of younger players that are really upper body dominant, they can throw their like push their upper body so hard that the back shoulder will push back. So that's just something we can look at analyzing movement. So overall for this player, the big thing that they're going to be, the big focus of the programming and like why they're going to get what they get from a programming standpoint is the hand moving forward. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why that can happen and can't happen. Ultimately, what we care about the most is, is it happening? And uh, the swing video combined with their swing metrics from a swing sensor, combined with their batted ball data, combined with their game data, we can tell this full story of what's going on with the athlete. Um, all those, All that data combines and we build a program based on what is happening. So that's a glimpse into what's happening, what we're doing with, with the hit AI and the things that we're looking at. There's a bunch of, uh, there's, there's some formulas in the background as well. I think there's, there's over 50 things that we're looking for uh, each time a swing is processed. And as you can see, anybody with an iPhone, anybody with an iPhone and anybody that can click a button can do this.